What are you doing on the back porch? You're about to pollinate some plants here? Yes. I'm trying to figure out, it's a little late in the day, um, but I have not tried to make seeds yet. So I'm gonna try, uh, Weird Science is wide open. I just um, made a cross on this one. Oh, actually I have to go get the tag. This is how you forget exactly what you've made because you forget to tag them, hang on. Weird Science. Looks pretty weird to me. So Spider-Man's nemesis, it's really hard to find the pistol on this one. Sometimes it's like really curly inside, way inside. It's kind of nutty. So I don't know if this one's going to take, but... Maybe if you talk dirty to it, you can find it easier. Well, maybe. Start maybe whispering it'll... sweet nothings into its ear. Yeah, well, it's the, the flower's getting some today. Now, is it possible that uh, a plant can be impotent? Or what? There's a, there's a Hefnerism. What do you mean? Is that, is that a word? Impotent. Isn't that the right word? What, no, I don't know what you're trying to say. Sterile? It, is it, yeah. Is it possible that pistol <laughs> is shooting blanks? Um, yes, actually. Not all flowers will, um, will produce a seed pod. This is all, ooh, is it going to take or is it not going to take? Something bloomed up here. I have to go see. So I'm just going to take the pretties, whatever are the prettiest flowers that are open today, and then I can save pollen from the ones I want to um, hybridize at a later date. What is this beauty? Oh, prime example again. So maybe we'll do a little weird science and prime example. What do you think? Now, which way should we do it? Is the question. So do you base it on colors? Like what colors you think are going to look? No, I'm just crossing crap. <laughs> I'm just crossing whatever's open. Okay. Um, so like that one, do I want to, most of the time, I think the, the pod parent, so the plant, um, you get traits from the pollen parent on the, but it has the same habit as the pod plant. So, so. we're still waiting for the originals to start popping. Yeah, I'm still waiting for scapes to come out, but this one looks pretty. And um, I actually have some tags. Look, it looks like there's going to be some, um, um, seed pods and on the other side of the house I saw seed pods forming on ones that I've made uh, a few days back so I'm so gonna go get some does it bloom and then makes a seed pod after the bloom I'm gonna show, I don't get it I'll show you if I don't get stung Ooh. this I'm gonna take oh the stamens because it has that nice fluffy pollen it's like perfect so prime example, so I have to, that's the name of the day, Lily, prime example. Awful lot of running around lately. And here's the pistol. So here we go. Prime example has officially, well, if nothing else has put pollen on this pistol today, but it looks bright white. It doesn't really look like anything, but pollen granules are so small so who knows but anyway so i'm gonna mark that one yeah but that looks like it doesn't have anything on the end of it now it does yeah now it does now it's orange so we're gonna seems write like down, such an intimate moment that we're, we're just crashing it. weird science because that is the pod parent weird science times who did i just oh prime example so and then i'm going to put the date because if I know when I did it, then I know when I can kind of pop the um, the pod off if I'm not sure if it's mature or not. The date does help because it's like 55 to 60 days to mature. So I'm just wrapping this around the actual flower stem where the ovary is. So did you answer my question about but, when do the pods come and how do they come? I'm gonna answer it in a second. Okay, so if you want to come in, I'll show you. I need sunglasses, super bright. I know, it's super hot out. Okay, so right now, the pollen that I just put on the end of that pistol, yes. right now, if it takes, it's going to take some of that pollen right down all the way into the ovary. And if I don't snap the flower off explaining this, it'll be a miracle. So it's going to come down here. In this spot here, where it connects to the stalk, there's an ovary. Once this flower, and it only lasts for a day, obviously, day lilies, this is going to wither up, kind of like this guy, right? See this guy, he's yeah. withering up. 
And then what's gonna happen is right, this flower is gonna fall off and right where it meets the stem, you're gonna get a seed pod. So let me show you, maybe, if there's not one here, I'll show you um, on the other side. All right, so that one has nothing, the flower fell off. This one is still deciding if it's gonna have one. So let's go on the other side of the house and I'll show you. So that's the first process, the pollen, you know, hybridizing and then you're going to let that you're not going to deadhead if you deadhead you take off the whole place where the pod is going to form so, so if you mess around with one of the buds you don't deadhead it you don't mess with the buds because on a dead flower it'll very easily fall off and what you want you want to see that ugly dead flower because you could potentially have a pod forming one's looking good oh. it's getting there Mr. John Copa is blooming. So let's see. Come over here, because I did see some um, pods forming. Oh, you know what? I bought a microphone last year at the end of the season. Like one of those microphones. <clears throat> I to... think your mouth is big enough. Yeah, well, I think no. we can all hear you. I think you should I think you should hear me louder. Um where did I where did I find I saw seed pods. Uh I don't want to mess with that one. If I go to move it to show you and it falls off, I'll be completely disappointed. Looks like you had a little get together here today. This one's fun. Yes. A little yeah. hosta society look going on today. Look at that bloom. That bloom's awesome. Oh, okay, so look it. So if it doesn't take, look, if it doesn't take, the flower is going to fall off and this is going to be flat. See how these are flat? Yeah. No seed pods formed. And I don't know if I, I did intentionally try to do one. This, if it does take, it's going to look like this. They look like buds. See that? Can you get in there? A little bit, yeah. This right here. And this is why you tag them. So I did rainbow rhythm times screaming cherries. And it has a bud. I mean, a pod. Well, you better not tie that too tight. Bud might fall off no. and neuter it. <laughs> no, I know where I know where to tie it and not to do that. Um, but anyway, so that's going to continue to grow and to produce little tiny seeds in there. And it takes about two months to do that. So that's what I'm doing. So that's what I'm doing today. I'm right now a little behind the eight ball with timing, but I did have the um oh man why does it always Terrible. turn into you killing something in these videos and i got greedy and now i have none and i let them live and all my buckets are over here um so anyway but it's beautiful everything's starting to go oh. yeah you got bit he this did time bite me ew he did he bit me everything's starting to pop you had a little yeah. get together here today did you see that one just went Broop. i didn't even have to do anything Yes, I did. So that was fun. Had a bunch of people in your gardens. Yeah, so from the Upstate um, Hosta Society. So they came to do their monthly meeting to have a little tour because it's the first time that they've been able to see my garden. So that was exciting. And um, we have plenty of butterflies. Like, oh my gosh, the fritillaries are out in full force and we saw a monarch, our first monarch today. And I so badly wanted to jump up and take pictures, but now I have to find him because I, ha I have to see if it's a male or a female because, you know, then I'm going to check for eggs on the milkweed that I planted for them. But look it, it's all starting. This is like my favorite. Look at, oh, isn't it nice when things just like float and <sighs> Festivus is trying to open. See one flower there. Is that trying to open or is it stuck? It's just been a wacky year. Come on, man, get it together. Put some sun on that beautiful face of yours. Look at that. I mean, my God. See how beautiful this is? It's great. Look at all the colors. And you know what? I bet you it hasn't been hybridized yet. So guess so what? So you're going to get a little frisky? And I, know, with... I know this is fertile because I have a cross with double stunner and festivus that's growing right now. So I'm going to go. What should we do? Should we take this one or should we take Spider-Man's nemesis? 
They're kind of the same color, though. It seems like Spider-Man's been bred with half oh, the Spider lily Man. population. Spider-Man's very promiscuous this yeah, year. Yeah, well. Spider-Man's getting around, baby. Yeah. Um, what else? That's it, I think. Now I just have to stalk my butterflies. Which, actually, they've been on everything. They're on the um, ble Bleeding Hearts Heliopsis. They are on, oh my gosh, the coneflowers. Oh, coneflowers are just my favorite. I, they really are. So how many weeks are you from total full bloom here? So last year I tried to, um, I tried to gauge that and I thought I had full like peak bloom. And then when August came, like late August, it even looked even more bright and peak bloomish. So I don't know, but I'm thinking like for the tour, we're definitely gonna have a lot of these cone flowers out and ready to go. So this will have color. My St. John's wort is gonna bloom. Uh, my daylilies that have the little buds, they're gonna bloom. So I, I think we might have a good timing. I mean, good timing for peak bloom or at least the, um, I think it's gonna be good actually, the timing for the tour. So everything that's bloomed right now, will that still be bloomed except for daylilies, daylilies until? So look it, this. see this? See what's happening? So when these are coming out, something's eating the petals. Looks like a bee. Well, no, the bees aren't eating the petals, but bugs are eating the petals. So what'll happen is I'll deadhead and then some of these smaller buds that are down here will start to come out and bloom. So I'm gonna leave those for now. And then when we get closer to the tour, I will snip those off and let the other ones kind of come out new and fresh so it looks good so how many tours are we going to have this year um i have three total but because yeah. my wife can never say no to anybody except her husband well that is true i definitely don't have trouble yeah wow you're awful quiet after that mm. i wanted to have a little poppy festival last night but nope I need to know if this is uh, Master's voice. I need to know what, I need to know which one this is. Stick your ear up and see if you can you hear You know, them. it's weird. I don't know if it's because we've been really dry that they all are opening a little weird. And then like the second and third blooms are good. But the first one is a little like, eh, what happened? I don't know. It's almost like they're not, they don't have enough moisture to open fully and be gorgeous. But I'll take what I can get. So oh, okay. what are your, what are some of your favorite flowers? Look, like ones that don't get eaten. Look at this poor honeybee. I mean, he's having a time of his life, but look at this flower. It's pitiful. Not much honey Stinking in there. Japanese beetles. That's going in a generic bottle. Look, there's one, look at, and there's another one on this side. Oh, I'm waiting to grab a bee. Look, right now I have to decide, am I going to be good enough? And is that bee going to play nice? What is nice? that? A moth? That is a skipper. And what are you messing with the bee for? I'm not. I'm taking the beetle off. But I, I wasn't sure if the bee was going to attack me. You have to do it gingerly. Do it gingerly. But I'm glad to see all the honeybees out. So are there any flowers you'd like ah. to feature while ah. we're walking around here? Not yet. Oh, constantly. Oh, look at Two are about to go in. <laughs> yeah, baby. Three. Look, if you can't find our videos, they've been flagged Look. for graphic Watch. violence. Yes, see, that's what happens. <laughs> they're like, oh, I'm going to land on this yellow. And then they're like, ah, and they go in. It's exciting. This has got to be, well, there's not as many as I thought they're in there, but they're probably all in the, oh, that's yucky. Oh, look at this guy hanging on for dear life. All right, I think people have had enough of your infatuation with... Let's see if there's anything else blooming. The Japanese. Oh, so this one was really kind of wonky, but it had really good color. So I crossed that one. So if you come to the tour, you'll see some of the, some tags hanging off the day lilies. Don't touch them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at, so this is a pretty, this had a pretty pattern in the center. Look at, plus it's got roughly um, main petals and the sepal petal still has the pattern. So that's kind of fun. And I don't know which one that is, but. I have to start tagging these so I know which day lilies are which. Maybe you should introduce her to Master's Whisper. Master's voice. Oh, well, he whispers. That's why his voice is so master's. Just trying to see what else. What do we got? Lots of fritillaries. I don't know what that was, but it was all up on my arm. Oh, look at this. Cheryl May Taylor. This is another one um, that I bought. 
Actually, look, the tag says Delaney. That was that was my name prior to meeting you, honey. Yes. Um, good old Irish Italian. Can't beat it. <laughs> Cheryl May Taylor. That one is supposed to be gorgeous. Look at the amount of buds on that thing. Are you getting that butterfly? Yeah. Oh, I'm well, including them. I have to get them. I can't really move, though, because I'm going to step on stuff. Sorry, I have to get this beetle. The beetles eat the petals. Oh, there's another one. So is this where you're pretty much done? You kind of just sit back and watch all your hard work come to life? I'm never in done. colors. Can you, can you believe this? Oh, my God. Look at this. He's sticking his little butt out in my coneflower. By the way, Lovely Lolly is the name of this. It's a fully double coneflower. Amazing. I posted a picture of that on my Facebook page. I love it. It's not a big pollinator um, plant, but you can't have all pollinator plants. You do got to have some eye candy. But anyway, that's that. What else? You going to follow me around all day? Well, you know what? It's been a while because, like I said before, you know, you're constantly doing stuff because, you know, you just can't say no. Um, sure I can. Really? How many people have you said no to? In the last what? We're not counting last night at 3 a.m. <laughs> I was up, by the way. Yes, so was I. <laughs> um, I don't know. Oh. Exactly. I have to, I have to film my dragonflies, too. It's hot. Like, how many other, um, projects do you have this year? Gardening projects. Personal gardening projects? Well, it depends how much we're going to get done with our new... We should show people around the property a little bit. They haven't really seen well, anything but your gardens. They're going to start to see. They don't see my... Big, big renovations happening. Oh, this is so nice. Yes, they don't see all the plans and all the things that I take care of on the outskirts Actually, of the property. You do a lot. You you helped to get this place whipped into shape yesterday, even though you were moody. It was it's good. I, I appreciate all the moody help that you What gave do you us. mean moody? Moody help. That's what I'm just gonna say. Oh I'm getting help but it's moody help so I'll take it. Look it that's not moody it's called help, muggy right? help. No you I was muggy. I wasn't you were moody. moody. Admit it you were moody. Uh you weren't you weren't thrilled to help me yesterday or this morning by the way but it's okay. Everything looks good. It's decent. It happened. I forgive you. Next time, like, you, I expect you to be a little happier and a little more well, like, you know yes, what? honey, let's get this done. And that's exactly how I'd like you to be moody at 3 a.m. <laughs> yes. Yeah, let's do this. Uh, well, well, if I if I didn't do so much work yesterday, it might not have been. Actually, I was exhausted and I still couldn't sleep. There was a butterfly that tried to get out of this and was, like, pretty dumb. It kept floating up, and it couldn't figure out how to get out. And then all of a sudden. So what's going on in the gardens? Anything in what, there? In what gardens? Can you get that so it doesn't? Uh, does it matter? Yes. Yes, it does. What am I doing? Flip it up and over there. Yes, don't look at that. Well, I'm trying to film, so maybe we can do it after the video. No, I want to do it now. Why? Because I see it, and it needs to be done. And you can't reach it. I'm short. I'm vertically challenged. Why does it feel like we're going to break something? There you go. Well, boy, I'm glad we had to take care of that. You know what? I feel better. Yes. I need to find the monitor. You know I hate editing videos, so it's I a one-shot deal. I have to find my monarch, so are you going to chase me? Well, no. I will, Yes, I want you to show. you got so many things blooming. Well, and you see? Because I have things to do. Yeah, you got things to do all week. So let's figure out what you're going to show us today. So we can. Well, what do you want me to show you? I don't. I don't need to show you anything. I. You can. You can forward. recommend things to uh, your viewers. I recommend you marry a guy who loves gardening, so he can help you when you have tours and planting and beetle picking to do. I. I oh, man, help you okay. more than Hold any on. other man on the One, planet. Two, three, four. You love me more than any other man? I said I help you more than any other man. I thought you Except said for David Austin. I guess I'm on his payroll, too. Oh, man. I almost got all of them. Especially when you have these get-togethers. It's like we spend the whole entire weekend getting ready, My and phone. then My phone's things happen. She she doesn't care that she's in the middle of a shoot here, folks. Yeah, but it's been going off, so I want to make sure it's not something important, darling. 
It's the Peppa Pig Club. Yeah, oh boy. Definitely not for me. Yes. It seems rather boring. All right. Oh my gosh. That's what happens when you have kids. Your, your phone rings nonstop, and now I know why people cave and get their kids' phones when they're younger. Not me, though. All right, what else? I'm going to continue to hybridize. What do you want to see? Anything in, in particular? I don't know. Is there anything you're extremely excited about this year? I like these. Yes. These look very nice. Maybe you could start hybridizing these. I did. There's tags hanging off of them. Sweet. Oh, cheese. there is. Wow. Mm -hmm. So if you see a tag hanging off our headboard tonight, you know what's going on, don't you? Oh yeah, you gonna pollinate me? Yeah, we're gonna have a little poppy convention. Do you need a, you need a little tag to remind you? No, you do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cross Catherine Carter with this one. She'll also be spraying the garden with deer fence and herself tonight. So you're gonna pollinate, who are you pollinating now? Isn't he supposed to be the dominant one? He's the pod parent. So I don't, I think this is Master's voice, but I don't know. So I probably asked you this before, but are they unisex, these plants or not? Like, how can you tell? They the have male and female parts. Is that what you're asking? Yes. So they're trigender then. Male and female is two parts. By gender. They have male and female reproductive parts. What they, you... they can self-pollinate and create seeds. That's all, you know, plants do that. They're, they, this, this one just has all of its reproductive parts in the... I guess when you don't have legs and you can't move from one flower bed to another. Well, that's why you have bees. That's why it's important to have bees. Bees carry out that reproductive process. Plants are immobile, so yes, there's a reason that they're built like that. See, all the pollen is here, and they're hoping the bees come in and land some pollen right on that. So, there you go. Storm shelter. What else do we have? Anything fun going on? I'm looking for bugs. Ooh, there's some Mamma Mia's back there. I didn't realize Mamma Mia's went in over there. Those were the ones I cut back, and then were in pots. And which one is that? The purple one? Oh, oh the no. The salmon one. Oh, the salmon like colored salmon. poppy. Yep. And my summer solstice, I kind of divided up and put along. I love this. I love this with the purple yellow. I do have a hole there. And I think that the coral craze needs to get pushed back next year. But we'll see what happens. It's so, a little tall there, but I, I, I can probably work around it once the little plants. Um, the younger plants fill in. I don't think you'll see that gap as much, but we'll see what happens. What's up with that lily in the back, that nice big white one? It's just a, it's one of those, the eyeliner lilies. You know what? I know why you don't like those orange lilies that I liked, because what? I see them everywhere. They are. They're like on the side of the roads. They are. They're very invasive, but they looked good here no, when there was only different. one of them. That, those are ditch lilies. Oh. Those are different. Those are ditch lilies. We have those along the stone wall and they grow wild. And yes, they're a little invasive. Those are Asiatic lilies. So what more do we need to get done before this big garden yeah. tour? Kill more bugs. We just have to pick beetles. Next time I'm just giving you a cup of water. So, you know. Actually, you have to pick up. The dog pooped on that lamb's ear. So two big piles of poop as people were walking around today. Who, who pooped on lamb's yes. ear? He did? Yep. Well, he probably wiped his ass with a lamb's ear leaf, too. Did you just swear? Well, hey, you know what? Oh, well, look at the pretty butterflies in here. Cosmos, they're on zinnias. Definitely got a lot going on in here this Thanks. year. I know, holy cow. This is beautiful, honey. What? This whole garden, I'm very happy with it this year. Well, this was where the snapdragons were. This just got planted, so this is behind a little bit, but... We have tomatoes. They're green, but they're coming. We have peppers. Nice. We do have peppers ready. Um, ginger, the ginger, by the way, not growing too fast. Not happy in a pot, but I don't have any other place to put it. 
Uh, what else? Are those beans? Going, what's growing on that vine over there? It's supposed to be open. Should I help this? Are you supposed uh, to do this that? It's fun. What is this? See, they're all, the first blooms are kind of wonky. What is that? That's kind of pretty. I don't know. I what mean, it, it? see, you can tell it's not right, though. The coloring is a little mottled and whatever. So, Luster Dragon was another pretty one that bloomed. So, have you ever hybridized lilies that you don't know their names? Oh, yeah. I got lots of those seedlings in the garden. So, we have here. a lot of illegitimate soft, lilies around here? Or soft, uh, or... Um, we have ones that like were self for like self pollinated. So I just found pods in the garden that I grew. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's satisfying. Oh, he needs an Excedrin. Uh, he needs a lot more than that at this point. Oh, you little. See, they know. They know when I'm out here because they've seen their friends get nabbed. Although I've I've let quite a few like. No, you know what's right. wild is the fact you really haven't, ha haven't yeah. had to water the garden too much. Uh, and the, I haven't seen you water... I have put the sprinkler out more times this year than I had to... I didn't even water last year with a sprinkler. I didn't have to. It was so wet. This year? What are you talking about? When? When, are you, when do you do this? This is how I put, I put it out. Actually, I put it out at night, which is bad timing. Um, but I did, I did it last night. It's dry. Everything needs... You know, especially the vegetable garden. That stuff's only here for one season. This stuff can pout a little bit. So do you want to tell people what we're, we plan on doing with this area over here? Um, right Future after, plans? Right after I check for the monarch. <laughs> More concerned about the monarch. Where'd it go? And why is it not still here? Look at this ice ballet, though. Do you guys remember when I planted the ice ballet? It was, I got a little pot of it this big at the nursery. And now look at it. Look how tall it is. It's this, beautiful. That's ice ballet. Ice ballet. And look how many stalks what I have. Little bugs on there. Yeah, what it's great. Pollinator. Wow. Look, he's going to get an ant. We're gonna about to have a little insect fight here. No, he's getting nectar. He don't care about the ant. So it almost looks like the garden's somewhat starting to come out of the garden. Uh, God, I hate when that happens. Yeah, and imagine. Pieces, and then they get in your hair, and I don't, you know, it's easier when I have my hair on a ponytail. I need to do that. Oh, look, I have a dahlia bloom. <gasps> Holy cow. Hula. Is that hula? I want to say it's hula. Do I still have the tag somewhere? I don't know. I'm so disappointed with this whole thing. I had this massive vision of color and gorgeous, big, tall dahlias. And the only thing that's giving me color are the little annuals I planted by seed. Um, but so, I have one dahlia bloom. So all those dahlias that... Oh, like these are just coming, but they're, they don't get enough sun to really do well. I have buds coming, but look how short and stunted they are. Is that a water thing? I don't know. Oh, look, there's a big milkweed plant there too. So I guess we'll see if the monarch was a male or a female. I'm a little disappointed that it's not still here. I missed my opportunity for photos. I love my monarch. I do. Maybe they're at the, oh, they weren't in the patio garden. But I'm going to go back there. Are you going to follow yes, me Yes, I'm going to follow you all day. By the way. I enjoy following you. By the way, this. Do you see the, the walkway? Yes. That, me and my niece is there. I do like the new walkway. Look at that. That was all done by my very strong wife and her niece. Yep. You know what? And it's straight and with a little help from a local ma um, mason and his wife actually, I got to do it. It may not be perfect and it's probably not done to like, you know, the professional level, but it looks pretty darn good for now. And then once we have grass, it might actually- Oh, it's definitely gonna look so much better when we can get rid of this caution tape. And I put lights, like these are cheap plastic lights I found at Walmart, I'm not gonna lie. Um, but I did lights and they're solar lights, so there's no electric and there, it's actually sunny enough. At night, it lights the walkway. It looks much better at, at night than it does now. Plus the caution tape doesn't really help, but I love it. It lights up the path and the white rocks like really stand out. So, but look at this garden. I love this garden. You know what needs to happen in the fall though? I'm, I'm making mental notes right now. I have quite a few notes in my head about things that need to happen. This grass, 
See how big this is? My big lush grass, that needs to get divided. It's blocking my, my painted ferns. Usually my painted ferns are up here and I don't know if it's a lack of water or what, but you know got a lot of moths, yes. Wait, yes, the spongy moths are out. The spongy moths have been laying their eggs. Oh my gosh, eggs. there's egg sacs. Look, Brian. That's nothing. No, oh. look. Oh, I know. You can see the egg sacs right here. Yes, I know. Oh my gosh, so we can take those off. Uh, you should the see the tree can... down on our rental property. Oh, it's no, horrible. Really? Yes. There has to be hundreds. Oh. Our tenant said he's going to move out if we don't get rid of them. I don't believe him. Oh, well, that's discouraging. But anyway, so mental note, that big grass gets divided. So I'll have a nice big clump to move somewhere pretty. I think you're running out of room, to be honest. I got five acres here. Yeah? Yeah. You just got to make me some... Just got to cut some more trees. Well, we're going to have the excavation done, right? So... Well, I was trying to explain to them what we were going to do, but you get your little scatterbrain going. Boy, that makes me mad. Hey. No. Maybe they were about to get intimate. Oh, look at that. Three way. Oh. Well, two out of three. Gotta wreck it. I feel better. Two out of three. So, uh, did you, sh what about the big hosta garden over there? Was that us? Yes. Did you show everybody actually, that? Yes. The, the, the hydrangea vine was a hit and the, the goat's beard. Actually, one woman said that, um, she had never seen such a healthy goat's beard, so. And where's the goat's beard? Right here. Remember the big white frilly thing? Now they're green, but this, I, I should deadhead it, but I kind of like the way it looks. Looks like it's kind of taken over. Yeah. What is this? What, this? This. This or that? That, this? that you're holding. Uh, a bleeding heart that self-sewn itself. This is a weed. Oh, get him. Get him, Zoe. That's what I do. Dog has no clue. No. So you did a little work up here. I definitely like this garden. You kind of ignore it. But when you're not looking, I come over and I tend to it. Really? Because you missed a lot of weeds. Well, I don't right. tend to it all the time. You'll have to tend to it in the next two weeks. Cause... Yes, I'm going to be doing a lot of work in the next two weeks. Yeah. So what are these plants down here? Are these the dahlias you were all? Um, some are, no, the dahlias are not blooming, but actually, so look at the size difference. So there's corn, <laughs> there's corn in here. <gasps> oh, these are zinnias, which are a favorite of Japanese beetles. Um, oh, look at this. Look, they're going at it. Uh, hey guys, oh, jeepers. Oh my God, look at this. This is like a You're so beetle. against it. Look, this is like how many? Am I, I'm going to get greedy and I'm going to oh, lose them. Oh, come on now. There's three of them and they seem to be getting along just fine. Yes, every time. When, when is Japanese season over so we can actually film a family-friendly video for a change? Huh? I got to put them in water. Hang on. <laughs> oh, yeah. I have been photobombed by Japanese beetles. They have invaded our production today and every day. Now I have a couple of walks. Yes, thank you. Good. We probably should have started the video this way. Well, I cannot walk around and leave them. And every one that I get is makes my brain feel better about next year. Oh, and you know what? Um, one guy noticed that I had blossom and rot on my tomatoes in a planter, which is actually common for tomatoes in a planter. See this? See what happens? It's brown. I don't they, know if they, I did see it. They're but. not going to recover. Oh, man. The, almost the whole thing. So, see, look. See what that is? Blossom and rot right there. Moisture stress. And could be related to calcium. So, these... Oh, boy. Up here, too. So, I have to, I have to treat this a little bit. So, gonna, this is what you... Uh, these are your potted plants this year. You put vegetables in it well i have tomatoes and i have other things but i think it's just because i'm not consistently watering it properly and it's been dry and the days that i miss watering it it's just under stress and that's what happens um it starts sucking the life out of the fruit so 
I, I did fertilize it today. Um, there is a blossom and rot calcium spray too that you can use, which I will do. I have that in the basement um, to try to fix it. The ones in the ground are not doing that. And that the one on that side is not doing it. So it's just this one, oddly enough. Go get them, Jax. Awful lot of noise around here, How Buster. Uh, no, I was just kind of, I miss filming you, honey. Yeah, That's right. all. I enjoy walking around, following look, you. Look at this. Look at these. Look at the buds. Like, I do have buds coming. They're not very big, but look at look at the size of this dahlia plant compared to the ones that I planted way earlier with my drill, my auger. I mean. Maybe you went too deep. No, not how, no. I, this is, this, I've started those early. I planted them at pot level. Holy cow. Wait till you see this. One, two. Three, uh, we're gonna. Four, it's five. too graphic, folks. We're gonna start covering this stuff up. You know what I love? I love when you go like this, and you have the cup underneath, and they think they're smart, and they drop, and they go right in the cup. Watch, watch this. Ready? Uh, we can't watch right it. Look at this. One, we're gonna two, get three, flat. Look at four, this. Four, five. Look at this. One, two, three, four, five. Oh! I got it. I'm pretty <laughs> sure that nobody saw that. All right. All we need are green guts all over your hands, and we'll no, be canceled. Actually, Red guts happens when I do the take the aphids off the Heliopsis. Do Japanese beetles have blood or is it just guts? Honestly, when I squish them, all I care about is the crunch. If I get the crunch, I don't even look. I don't think they have blood. I've never seen it to be red when you squish them. How have you become so heartless? Um, because look what they do to the foliage. Look down. You'll see. That's what they do. It's They're just terrible. sharing. No. You know what I mean? They're doing what they're supposed to do. That's a very nice flower. And I see honestly, no beetles of, around. Instead of killing all the insects, I'm killing the ones that are annoying me. I'm killing my I'm killing my true pests. So I feel good about that. So hand picking them is fine. <gasps> Dude, look at this. Come look at these tomatoes. This is black strawberry. I mean, does it get any better than this? Look at this. Beautiful. Black strawberry look at tomatoes. That. Black, look at so it'll be red under here, but yeah, they're black. What do they taste like? Strawberries. Tomatoes. Looking under here, look how big these are. Holy cow! I think it, they lo definitely love being in the ground. Although that one is not in the ground, but look at look at the truss all the way over. Now where do look you at this. where do you find black Huge. tomatoes? Um, I found or the black strawberry. Black strawberry, I think was a um, I bought the seed from Baker Creek. I prefer the black banana. The black banana? Yes. Can't help you there. Black banana tomatoes. I, I definitely prefer those. They, they don't make them in America. Oh, sure. Anything else? I don't know. Your joke fell flat, so now we're, <laughs> we're ready to just like, move on. It fell flat because it really couldn't go where I wanted it to, unlike the dog behind you. Zoe. Yeah. No. Look, my dog is perfect up on the steps. Your dog is the one being invasive because mm. it's a pest. You want to get pinched like the beetles, bud? Hold on. Come back over here. I'm coming back over. Come back over. What? Look in the reflection. What about it? I give you bunny ears. Oh, really? I can't even see. No, you probably missed it. It's hard. All right, I'm done. All right, with honey, video. it was great following you around. We got a lot of information. You did? Learned a lot about plants. About collecting beetles. Yep. Well, yeah, we saw some live hybridizing, so we'll see what happens with the seed pods. But, oh my gosh, it's hot. I'm going to hibernate. I'm going to have ice cream. Cool. Yeah. Sounds great. Can't wait to join you. Oh, are you? Yeah. You can't have mine, though. I well, a specific can I have some, chocolate, or are you going to say no? Chocolate caramel tornado ice cream. I mean, that is going to be amazing. Sounds anyway. great. All right, see you, honey. Did she say I can have ice cream or no? Probably no. Hi.